Hi, I'm Nadia Freeman with Rockstone Sessions, and today I have the pleasure of meeting Angela Moira. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you. <laughs> and how was your show today at Songbird? It was amazing, really. I was um, not going to lie, I was pretty nervous. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was uh, getting ready in the behind the curtains, and then I heard someone say, all right, there's one more seat available. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's full, can't believe it. And then, um, yeah, I just went to play, and it was amazing. Yeah, the people were really nice and sweet, and they were listening, just always very nice to play you know when uh, everyone's silent and I, I hear you're a standing ovation I mean that's pretty special yes I can't believe it it was the first time ever and um, so I said I said to them thank you so much this is the first time I have a standing ovation so I make them feel special too <laughs> wow well you surely deserved it I'm sure you have many more to come um, now I've read a bit about your your background in music and, and the, as uh, as a child you were surrounded by books and music and mm -hmm. traveling and um, I just wondered how that's influenced your music well yeah everything that I write about is just yeah basically everything that I go through in life love um, you know struggling finding out who you are and so yeah, I I did um, a study first, and um, I I worked in America. I worked in Scotland, and then when I was graduated, I thought, my God, I don't know if I really like this. <laughs> and then I just um, started to really uh, yeah write songs. So I've been doing it um, kind of taking it seriously since four years or something. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then just I just kind of went through with it and tried to follow my dream, I guess. So and yeah, the songs are just about everything that I go through. And I play guitar, and so it's it's kind of poppy. I sometimes say jazzy, but that's just a couple songs. I do a lot of different stuff actually. Yeah, the whole spectrum. Now I read a little bit. You, you mentioned that you studied abroad and and you worked abroad, and um, I've read that you you find solace in your music. You found it very comforting at a time that you were quite lonely. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Yes, I do because um, yeah, sometimes I don't really know how to express myself with words when I'm talking to someone or when I'm lonely or so I'm yeah I love writing because it's just uh, my it's kind of my guitar. My it sounds cliche, but it's my best friend. <laughs> my guitar. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, very comforting. Comforting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now you've just reached the final of the Goed Prijs van Nederland. That's my terrible Dutch accent. Um, how does it feel, and how's that process been for you? That's been actually almost two years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, lots of things happened since then. I've been uh, 3FM Serious Talent. I've been performing at the Wereld Right Door and uh, been on the show The Best of Singer Songwriter, very famous uh, show in, uh, in Holland where songwriters do their thing. So I've been doing quite some things since uh, the Grote Prijs. Yeah, so that was kind of the first competition I did. Yeah. And how has that um, changed your career? Yeah, I just, what I did, I just signed up for everything. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, lucky, uh, lucky me that I got to, be, uh, to become a finalist in many shows. So I never won, but that's okay because uh, we just go through with it. But uh, I never won, but maybe one day. I don't think it matters. I think you, you're yeah. doing pretty damn well without <laughs> winning. I mean, I've heard that, that you're recording your album. I mean, that's pretty exciting. You've been picked up in the States. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's been really exciting because there's an independent label in San Francisco and uh, they heard my songs and um, so they signed me to their um, label. So it will be released in America as well next year. So I'm hoping um, early... 2014 so around the same time it will be released in Holland the album is called Fickle Island nice. it's kind of two songs uh, song titles combined to one so yeah because I'm a fickle person <laughs> <laughs> like everyone mostly so. and what about the island reference yeah because um, my grandmother um, she's from Indonesia mm -hmm. and she comes from an island and I've never been there so oh. but it's kind of 
you know, island is something where everything is just nice, and when you hear the word, it's nice, and then when and fickle is just totally opposite, you know. <laughs> so I thought to, to combine the two words is funny, you know. Nice. So exciting things ahead for next year. What else can we expect in the near future from you? Well, um, yeah, I'm just planning my album release right now, and it looks like I'm going to be in America around, I hope, in the spring next year. And uh, hopefully that will give me lots of things on my, on my musical path. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. Well, we're excited for you too, and we're excited to see uh, see the new album and hear the new album next year. Um, just one final question: We're here at a songwriter festival. I wondered if you have any nice tips for people who are aspiring musicians or who want to go out there. I'll tell you something: I did something so humiliating yesterday <laughs> because I love Valerie June, uh -huh. and after the, okay, at the sound check, I was already in front, and then I'm like looking at her, totally obsessed. She's my lady crush. And I told her when I bought her rec record, I said, you're my lady crush. And you just, she just said, the lady next to her, a friend or something, she said, I can't believe she just said that. <laughs> and then um, I just went on and on. And then uh, my husband came after me. Uh, he, he said to me, oh, my God, you need to relax when you see your idols. <laughs> so, But she's so amazing and I just bought her record I've been playing it all afternoon before I came to Songbird Festival and she was one of my favorites and I I saw so many people of the singer songwriter show I was on uh, last year they're also performing they're awesome and um, yeah many yeah I can't choose okay I can't choose Valerie June <laughs> so she she's your favorite yeah she's your lady crush well, you're our lady crush. Thank you so much for talking to us and um, we'll look forward to seeing you next time you're in Holland. Thank you very much. Thank you.